Uh, so I've been talking the last few videos about being on the road. Uh, we went to Spain, came back, and uh, were greeted in our village uh, by two Canadians, oddly enough. You don't find them very often in a small village in Switzerland. Uh, Neil and Anjanette uh, McTavish. I went to school with uh, Neil hmm, a lot of years ago, high school. And they came and visited. It was a grand time. God, we had a good time with them. I might do a couple of videos on that. Wouldn't that be exciting for y'all? <laughs> but uh, I've been talking about being on the road. I did this sleeper car from Zurich to Hanover and then on up to Bremen. And I was talking about the foreboding that my mind ran me through uh, before. You know, oh my God, you're too old. There's, you know, and uh, it's a sleeper car. You're not going to be able to sleep. And I got on the sleeper car and I hadn't been in the train but a few minutes and boom. It took off, and I thought, oh, boy, I cut that close. Uh, but synchronistically or uh, coincidentally, uh, on the first train, I went to the uh, cafeteria car, sat down and had some dinner. Uh, and when I got on the sleeper car, they said, oh, sorry, we don't have any dinner car tonight. So I felt real happy that I got, and I uh, just stopped uh, and got in a bottle of water laid down and people were coming in and out. We were stopping and I thought, God, I'm never gonna sleep. And then a man got on on one of the stops and he stunk of cigarette smoke. And the train took off and I'm laying down and bumping along and I'm thinking, what does this remind me of? And uh, <laughs> the memory is quirky. I thought, this reminds me of going to Florida when we were kids. Sleeping in a moving vehicle, I was little enough to sleep on the back seat. Well, if I could get the back seat, that we usually had to share it with at least one of the person where the other kids slept on the floor. Uh, and my father, we would make this mad dash from uh, Pennsylvania to Canada, and he wanted to get to Florida. And my mom, we would stop. She would run in, buy some groceries while he was filling up the car, and then we would be driving along, and my mom would hand over a little uh, cardboard bowl with Cheerios in it uh, into the back seat and milk and a plastic spoon and say, now don't spill that. <laughs> and I'm laying in his train car, going along, and got past all of the G here people coming in and out and they're going to keep me awake all night and this motion is going to keep me and I found myself just smiling just really really happy uh, on this train uh, and then yesterday on my bike uh, I got out on the highway started looking around seeing the birds and the clouds and uh, just and then would run the bike up to about 80 miles an hour and back down to normal cruising speed uh, I just found happiness uh, I'm not sure that the mind's job is to keep you from happiness, but it sure seems like that. It will tell you everything that can go wrong, uh, and if you can disregard it, move on, and live your life. Uh, in the classes I teach, <clears throat> one of my clients years ago uh, said to me, she said, I watch you work, and I don't know whether you're brave or stupid, uh, but most of the times I lean towards stupid. <laughs> so, have a fun day, www. MIC Peak Performance. Uh, I do seminars. I do uh, kinesiological chiropractic healing work. Uh, if you want me in your area, uh, look us up. Have fun. Thanks.